Hi, I'm Brian Skirms. I'm Professor of Logic and Philosophy of Science here at UC Irvine. Well, I guess applying, if you want in general terms, applying uh, evolutionary game theory to the social contract. Um, social contract is uh, basically a philosophical question, but it's usually uh, discussed by philosophers in terms of rational choice. And I discuss it in terms of evolutionary game theory, and in particular, the dynamic approach to game theory. Um, so one of the things um, that uh, is interesting is uh, I've been interested in how you can get meaningful communication if you have individuals um, that don't already know how to communicate so that they can't decide what the words mean, uh, they can't communicate with one another. Um, uh, the situation can be captured in what's called a signaling game that was due to actually a philosopher, David Lewis, and has been um, discussed in economics and various other disciplines. Um, and uh, if you look at evolutionary dynamics uh, or learning dynamics in the signaling game, you can see how meaning can be spontaneously generated out of nothing. Well, um, people didn't know this beforehand. Um, I think it makes a difference for philosophy, certainly, because these things aren't discussed in a kind of dynamic context that I've discussed it in. So, um, so the question, in a way, an old question has been answered. Uh, it's also important for um, different areas of social sciences where signals transfer information and you'd like to see how signaling systems can uh, be generated and how they can change over time. And these are techniques that can be used. Um, there's a lot more to be done and a lot of people are working on these problems now. Well, I could tell you this. Um, I have something else which is also evolutionary game theory, um, which deals with social networks. And in particular, uh, where you have people interacting uh, in some way where there's strategic interaction that uh, leads to different kinds of payoffs for people. This is usually called game theory. People play games with their neighbors on social networks. Uh, but the social network now can be evolving so that uh, individuals uh, can choose or learn with whom they want to interact as well as learning uh, what kind of actions to perform. And so you have two kinds of adaptive processes, one in which the social network is adapting, the other in which the strategies or actions of the individuals are interacting. Um, and this makes things quite different than they are if you have a static social network. Well, logic and philosophy of science is a great department, right? Uh, it's uh, maybe the highest ranked department in the university. Um, uh, we do more than one thing. We, we uh, do philosophy of biology, philosophy of social sciences, philosophy of physics, and logic, right? Um, and there are lots of things that are interesting that are going on here. Um, uh, these are courses that uh, uh, are not for majors because we don't have any majors in our department, right? Uh, but we're interested in people in other fields, right, who like to come and find out something about uh, what we know about these fields. <laughs>